Well, hello there. How y'all doing? Philly Perfection here. And if you've been keeping up with the Z Fighters' journey so far, you know that they took a crushing loss in Week 4. To make sure that doesn't happen again in Week 5, the Z Fighters got to work. We had to put in work this week because I'm going to say like it is, we lost to a bad team, a horrible team. I'm not even trying to be disrespectful or anything. We just lost the game that we shouldn't have, and so that means we have to hit the field. We got to be better. We got to do better. We were not ready to lose another game, and so we came to put in the work that was necessary to make sure that didn't happen. Not the Korea. How you doing today? How's it going, brother? Hey, how was practice today? Practice fucking killer. A little hot out today. Nothing crazy, but... Notice you're sweating. Tough practice? Tough practice. Might have spilled some water. But hey, you know, got to put in the got to put in the work. I mean, it does make sense, you know, since the Z Fighters lost last week. Uh, what do you think about that? Tough loss. Uh, definitely not what we wanted to do. I wanted to go undefeated season my first season playing some baseball. But hey, you win some, you lose some. Just got to get it over with. And uh, we're still searching for that first career hit. Is that coming soon? You know, at this point, we're just letting it be. Just, you know, if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't come, then guess what? Still got to come. Hey, appreciate the energy, Nati. Keep it I'm up. Gonna, thank you. After a solid week of good practice, Sunday finally arrives. It's week five. We're playing the Callejeros. It's 8 a.m. and the Z Fighters are ready to go. And let me point out that the Callejeros are 4-0 at this point. We are 3-1. We're looking to take first place and they're looking to stay undefeated. So let's see what happens when two Goliaths clash. So the game gets underway and I'm on the mound once again as usual. I'm looking to bring my best stuff to this game because you know I like a good challenge sometimes. I'd say that for the most part I kept these guys in check. You know they hit some ground balls, some pop ups, but for the most part my defense had my back this game. I wouldn't really find much trouble until I grazed this guy with the heater right here putting him on base giving me a runner on first. The next guy would bloop a single into the outfield and have two runners on base from there. A miscommunication in the outfield would lead to extra bases, so you know at this point I got no outs and two runners on. The next guy would somehow find a way to poke a ball into the outfield, thus scoring the runner from third. The next guy would hit a bomb over the center field fence, but true Z Fighter fans know that at this field, if a ball goes over the fence, it's only a double. The next guy would find a way to poke a ball up the middle, thus scoring another run. So even though this was a good team, I was not about to fold. I flipped the switch, and you know, I began to throw a few nice pitches. So after a bit of a shaky start, I found a groove, settled down, and started racking up the strikeouts. After that, it was wraps. It is extremely important to note, however, that the Z Fighters' defense was locked down all game long. So of course, shout out to the Z Fighters for backing me up on defense and staying locked in, but on the mound, ugh. I too was locked in. Sure, I did walk a few guys, I did hit a few guys, but I also struck a lot of guys out. And remember, this was the team in first place, so you know, I really wanted this win. I wanted it bad, and that meant no messing around this game, taking this game seriously, and giving it my all to put my Z Fighters back on top. Before I came off the mound though, there would be one more blemish as this guy crushed the double and drove in one more run. So this was their third run of the game. Who knows how many the Z Fighters have at this point to be honest, but we'll get to that in a little bit. By the end of my outing, I had eight innings pitched, three runs given up, five hits, four walks, and 12 strikeouts. Okay, so now we know that the Callejero scored three runs in this game. Would the Z Fighters score more or less than three runs in this entire game? You know, we see JP get the walk to start off. Austin Fielder's choice beats out the throw, though. I come up to the play. Vladdy Perez, Felipe Perfection, Felipe Perez, whatever you want to call me, I get walked. I'm the buffest player on the team. Of course I got walked. Now with two runners on, my buddy Brian comes up to the play, hits a missile to the outfield that is caught at the warning track. The meatbag of the year candidate, Daniel Jaramillo, comes up to the play and just rolls over, getting him out of the inning, no harm done. From there, we'd get a flurry of strikeouts and count them. That's one, Jose, see you later. Up next, Jaime, see you later, caught looking. Next up, Little Ron, uh, see you later, strike three. And then we got Nati, caught looking, oh my god. But it doesn't end there, JP, caught looking, and he can't believe his eyes. We were looking bad, so I come up to the plate, rip a ball into the gap, and get on base. You know, trying to start a rally right here. My buddy, Brain, up next. Uh, walks. 
two runners on. Let's go. Now we're cooking with gas here. We got DJ at the plate. Rolls over into a double play. Gets him out of the inning. But it's okay. We'll get him next time, we say, as AJ comes up and bloops a single. You know, okay, now we're going again. Looking good. His brother, Jaime, comes up, rips a ball over the center field fence at a baby. But as I stated earlier, this field is tiny, so anything that goes over the fence is just a double. Two bagger. Don't matter. We got a little... Uh, he already struck out. I didn't even get a commentator. He already struck out, and then we got another strikeout. No run scored that inning. No runs. Didn't matter how many people got on base. No run scored. Looking to spark some life, something into the team. I come up to the plate again, rip a ball into the gap, but, you know, I know my speed. That's not a dull for me. I take the single. Brain comes up, hits a blooper to the outfield, and is that going to drop? Uh, no, that doesn't drop. We had two outs, by the way, when I came up to the plate, which is why, you know, nothing came out of that. Buddy DJ comes up, gets caught looking. See you later, and the flurry begins again. Jeff, see you later, buddy. Our latest addition to the team, Chewy. See you later, buddy. Another strikeout. Yeah, we actually did not score any runs this game. We actually lost 3-0. We did not win. So we lost another game. <laughs> however, however, this was a good game to lose, I think. Not, yeah. so I'm not saying like we no, should lose. No, I'm yeah. saying like Learning this experience. hard fought game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This time, the glove, nice. Great defense today, guys. Yeah. Everyone did very well hey, on defense. Hey, fucking Jose. Jose, Jose. great job out there. Chewy, great job out there. Awesome, great job. Everyone, everyone, everyone did a great job on defense. However, the sticks were not there today. No sticks. We didn't get many hits. I think my preacher was pretty good today. Held him to only three runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good, but however, we got to score some runs. <laughs> so, it was kind of rough. But yeah, it was kind of rough. It's all right. It's fine. 3-0 uh, against a good team. I'll take that. We got a game ball today. I, mean, I think we can give an MVP good. today. Yeah. We can yeah. give an MVP ball today. Any, any, any thoughts? Jose. Any thoughts? Jose. 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 Yeah, Jose. Jose. Betting was crap, man. It's all right. Hey, if the team, thinks you, the MVP, the team thinks you were the MVP today, the team thinks you're the MVP. You won't run his. You know, yeah. Yeah. Times, they, like they were two on base. They would just yeah. grab the ball. They were big catches. Come grab the ball. <laughs> Since I technically was the MVP last week, we got to give it to the week three MVP, Daniel Jaramillo. And the MVP for this week is Jose. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Alright, so what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> you had three awesome plays out in left field today. Uh, stopped some runs, very crucial for this game. Although it wasn't a win, you stopped some runs from scoring. So how do you feel today? I feel great. I'm pretty nervous all, all the damn game. Because as soon as the ball goes up, I'm pretty like, I black out. I don't hear anything. But I caught him, so. Nice. And I know we didn't get any hits today, but you did get hit by the ball. Yeah, poor ball. <laughs> You should see the other guy. <laughs> Any goals for next week? Uh, get some hits in. That's about it. Nice. Thank you. I know how to meal number two for the Z Fighters. How are we doing today? We're doing good. We're doing good. How'd you feel after today's game? I felt kind of good. 0 for 4, I think I went, which was kind of crappy. Hopefully, I'll improve next game. Definitely get an extra work this week. All right. So I know today uh, did not result in a win, uh, but it was a very hard fought game. What's our goal for next week? Next week is just working on our hitting. We just have to hit and uh, contact hitting, just hit the ball, run better to bases, and I feel like we'll win next time. Defense was stellar today, very impressed by that. Uh, but just increase our hitting and we'll do great. You think maybe setting up some extra batting practice this week for the team? Oh yeah, definitely. We gotta, we gotta get as much hitting as possible. All right, and I also heard through the grapevine that today is your birthday. Yes, sadly it is. Sadly, boy turned 24 today. Happy birthday, DJ. Yeah, but now I'm old head. <laughs> Still not the oldest on the team, though. True. <laughs> All right. Thank you, DJ. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Austin Perez, number 42 for the Z Fighters. How are we doing today? Um, pretty rough start. Pretty rough game, honestly. Just all in all, it was, uh, it was just bad. Oh, I mean, we, we fought hard. Just like our coach said, but yeah, it, was, it was it wasn't the best game for me, you know. A loss is never fun. I feel that. Um, I do hear that today might have been your last game for a while. It actually is my last game. It is for uh, uh, it's gonna be my last game for a good while. Uh, I'm gonna be moving down to San Marcos to uh, pursue my studies, like I like I wanted to do. So uh, yeah, today is my last game. So I know we'll probably see you for some special games here and there, um, helping out your team. But what are some Words of wisdom for your team for the rest of the season. Um, I don't know. Put in the work. There's a lot. There's a lot of potential on this team for sure. It's just a little, a little tough when all of us don't go to practice and uh, we don't get to work on that and actually build up those skills. So I definitely think that maybe a, 
going to practice and uh, yeah, definitely have fun. A lot, a lot of us were pretty serious this game. I was one of them. Uh, and uh, it, w it wasn't as enjoyable or as good as we'd expected it to be. All right. Well, we wish you the best of luck down at Cal State San Marcos and we'll see you soon. Thank you very much.